I'm gonna show you quickly how to create a couple labels from scratch. I wanna show you a barcode, and I also wanna show you how to add an address into the label. So I'm opening my software, and I start with my blank address label. To modify this template, it's really easy. I just uncheck the box at the top, and then I can modify what is actually on this label. So I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit, move it over. I also wanna add an image element to it. So by clicking on the image icon and then dragging, I'm gonna add a clip art. Let's just add a sailboat. From here, I can add any address from my address book. All right, so this is a smaller address, but I'm going to make it shrink down to be a more reasonable size. If I wanted it to take up the entire area, I could also switch over and do auto fit. And that's where you see how it gets much bigger. There's also a way to center left and right justify, but also do a center block where you have it justified on the left, but centered in the, in the box itself. By clicking these buttons here, I can position it either at the top, middle, or bottom of the label. But that's only apparent when I'm in shrink to fit mode. I'm gonna leave it centered and now print. There we go. I'm gonna move on and show you how to do a barcode because I think those are really cool. I'm gonna use a standard address label size just to make it easy, and then I'm gonna create it from, from blank. With the icons along the side, you see that there's a couple here that have a triangle in the bottom corner. Those you don't simply drag and drop like the other versions. You're going to select which barcode or which shape you wanna use and then drag that over. I'm gonna select a UPC for a retail implementation. Now you see it's dropped just a list of numbers. As soon as I click off of it, it puts the barcode in place. I'm actually gonna try and reduce the size of this, but you see what it's gonna do is it says that it can't be that small and it gives me an error. So now I have to drag it back to its original size. Over on the right here, I can also change the information that I put in for the barcode. I'm just gonna make up a number really quick. and you'll see it's wrong, it doesn't like it, it gives me an error. Now I'm just gonna add another digit to it because I was off, and it doesn't like the checksum. So I'm gonna go back and enter something else. This is actually valid, and now you can see it's, it's rendered the UPC. Now I can go and print my barcode. There you go.